So you guys saw you tweet yesterday that you're in the Coco main event now. I got that Coco main now, yep. It's the band that adjusted the bout order. I haven't yep. heard that yet. No. It might not be. You guys might have heard of it, but I was told that I'm fighting the third to last now. So nice. get ready, guys. You need to put some fireworks on out there again, you know. Did they, did they give you an explanation? or? Uh, no, they just said, hey, you down to go to the Coco? I'm like, yeah, let's go get this Coco on. So, who, who informed you of that? Uh, I was talking to Dean. I just happened to walk by and he was like, yo, come here. So what's up? And he told me. So. Does that kind of say something about, you know, this fight you that they wanted? That's a, you know, mm -hmm. kind of a featured boat position? I thought I was going to be there from the beginning, right. like being on the card, because we didn't know where we were lined up. But then it just, I fell into the prelim main event and then they had a fallout and they wanted someone exciting. So I'm exciting. Let's do it. Does it make a difference? I mean, it's all on ESPN Plus regardless. No, nah, man, I'm going to fight. It doesn't matter where I fight, pay-per-view, ESPN, Fight Pass, whatever. You're going to get a killer, and I'm coming, and I'm training hard, and I'm coming to fight you. So. Yeah, there, there's a difference, though, in terms of, like, fighting a few hours later, right? And it's, like, getting closer. Well, yeah, you just got to change your schedule. You know, like, I was, like, going to sleep a little earlier. Now I'm going to stay up a little later and then try to wake up a little earlier so I can get a good uh, night of sleep. Mm -hmm. Then try to sleep some in the morning, wake up. And then start my day around 10, hopefully. And then it'll be about the same. So. You're very energetic uh, right now. How's the weight cut going? Great. I'm 179, nine pounds to go. And I just had a cup of coffee, and I'm ready to go. <laughs> Is that ordinary for you? you know, oh, yeah. 20 hours up from when the scale's open? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I have, I'll eat two more meals today, probably, and still be 179 and cut the rest of it later. Right before bed, go to sleep, wake up, make weight. Pose off, stare at this guy, and then go make some money. Stare off. <laughs> well, I'll, I'll get on my tippy toes if I have to. I don't care. I did it with Randy. Let's go. I like tall guys. Yeah. Talk about the, the matchup with uh, James. I mean, he's, um, you know, not so long ago he was entering sort of the mm -hmm. attention, so he, he's, he's a good name in that lightweight. Definitely. Um, yeah, how, how do you feel about getting that, that matchup? I feel it's great. I mean, they still have hope in me. They still like me. I still put in a show on. And, uh, that's all it is. It doesn't matter who it is. I'm coming in there, dude, and I'm going to fight. So just expect a dog when I'm in there. And James Vicks is a great guy, but he's a, another name on my list. So I'm checking him off. Last time we spoke in uh, Canada, Nico, you, you, you kind of, in a sense, uh, promised that you weren't going to throw caution to the wind so much in the fights, maybe try to fight a little smarter. You kind of threw it out the window. I threw that caution. Yeah, threw it out the window <laughs> in Canada, so tell me, you know, uh, you know, how, it, you know how that happened. Mm -hmm. uh, if, what your, what your mindset is going to this fight with that in mind? It's just going in calm, you know, going in happy. Not so like, ah, last fight I just, I wanted blood, you know, because the Tim Means fight was so, like, savage. I was stuck in savage mode. Now I'm in win mode. I'm going in there, I'm, I don't want to get hurt. I want to win. I'm going to get out of there. You know, I'm going to make a fight. Don't worry about that. You're not going to be able to blink. But, you know, I'm not going to be getting messed up too much. <laughs> That's the game plan. Right. Your division's uh, <laughs> finally starting to shake out. Mm -hmm. You know, the matchup coming up with Colby and Usman. Uh, what yeah. do you think about that match and what do you think is going to happen? I don't know, man. Those dudes are both, like, good wrestlers and they dominate on top and stuff. Um, Who do you match up better with out of the two, do you think? Me versus yeah. either? Yeah. I'll fight both of them. I'll match up with both of them. I don't care. I'll fight them at the same time. I don't care. I'm the type of guy who's like, you show me where to fight, I'm going to fight. How many? Two, three? Let's go. Wait, who would you prefer to fight? Yeah. I don't care. I like punch either of them in the face, you know. There's <laughs> nothing against them, you know. And as you start getting higher in, in opponents and in sort of climbing the, the rankings, mm -hmm. um, obviously you're known for your very exciting style. Do you plan on, on tempering that down a little bit? Or? Why? Why not be me? Uh, me got me here, so oh, me's going to stay here. You know, I'm going to go in there and give 100% every time. You know, it's either you're going to knock me out or I'm going to knock you into the dirt. So that's all it is. You know, a finish for a finish. And uh, I saw you come up through the local circuit in, in mm -hmm. South Florida, fight time promotion. Yeah. Uh, uh, <laughs> Old school. Oh, Lily. Yeah, I was there. Great um, fight. Yeah, people don't know, but you've been like that since since, day since the one, beginning. Um, this is me, man. Yeah. Like I said, I will never change me. You know, the only way I'm changing is I'm getting better. It's the only thing. So I'm just going to be Nico, a better Nico every time. Mm -hmm. 
Well, that's the thing. It's about the damage. You know, what happens in a fight? You never know how much you're going to get hit in a fight. You know, it's not like scripted. We're not walking in there, okay, this guy's going to hit me 17 times, I'm going to hit him 18 and win. It's not like that. You know, it's, so the next day I'm going to sit there, see how I feel, and I'll assess it then. Hey, if there's a, a great opportunity that presents itself, yeah, I'll jump in on anything if I'm, the, if I'm healthy. Yeah, because I think uh, Mike Perry was calling for a fight in December. I know you've called him out before on social media. Hey, if it happens, I'll meet you. That'd be a good end of the year. I'm not afraid of that. <laughs> so pray for health. Your last fight was you know, abroad in Canada, like we mentioned. Uh, how cool is it to come back actually home? Home. I literally went across the world almost, it felt like, or the country, and now I'm just staying home to go for a fight. So the drive was nothing. It was an hour and a half. You know, I didn't lose any, like, exhaustion from that. I just came here. Then we trained. Went, ate something. You know, the travel was so nice this time. Didn't kill any of my energy. So. A lot of friends and family coming tonight? Yeah, I expect to hear my name. Loud. What's your quarter look like? I got the same corners last time. Yep, I got Coach Mike and Coach Pat Moran. Yeah, Nico, so. you have such a positive disposition. Your energy like jumps through the screen. Yeah. When would you, what would you say that's your best benefit? Like, when does that really come in handy? When I'm dead. <laughs> you know, when I'm completely out, this comes out. And it's just an extra energy. I just like my reserve ball. Once everything shuts off, this thing just kicks in out of nowhere, and then I'm like, I'm back. And that's when I catch my finishes, 90% of the time, <laughs> 89. And talk about the, the matchup itself a little bit. Um, James, you know, in his last uh, three losses, he's been knocked out twice. Yeah. And, you know, you got some power as well. So, uh, yeah, but it's a fight, man. Yeah. My chin can get hit just as easy as his can. So this is as simple as that. The button, who can touch the first button? Have you guys had a chance to face off yet? No. No. I haven't seen him since I've been here. Oh, we'll know tomorrow, 100%. Um, <laughs> so uh, I plan on doing this and then getting on them toes, like I said. <laughs> so. uh, Lastly, you won several uh, performance of the night bonuses. Yeah. Um, how has that you know, changed your life? And, and, and it's a good joke of mine. More it changes my kids and my wife's. You know, she gets a car, she gets a kitchen, and I get to watch it. <laughs> watch it leave. <laughs> But no, yeah, it's, it's a blessing, man. That's not like, that's like not scripted either. You don't know when you're going to get that. That's just like, no way. I just made that. And then you add that to your person. It's like, oh, it's amazing. Yeah. It's just a blessing, man. And as I said, you won several. Is the reaction always the same? Or you're like, oh, yeah. Phew. Yeah. <laughs> you know, yes. It's all. <laughs> so I'm totally grateful every one I win. Anything I win. Being on the main card and the Yes, definitely. It's going to open up. Everyone's going to see me again, you know, and none of that at home. So that's my most exciting thing is put a show on for my fans back in my home in uh, Florida. So. Deuces. Fist bumps from everyone. Fist bumps from everyone. Fist bumps from everyone. <laughs>